Okay, I said King K. Wo won't be in Smash Ultimate or Smash 5 or Smash Fritz. He's in the game. I said Pichu is definitely not going to be in the game. Same thing with Young Wing. Same thing with Dr. Mario. The all clones. Get out of here. No one wants you in the game. The all in the game. I said Snake will never return in Smash Brothers. He's in the game. So what? I might be dinking myself. The game is not out yet. Smash Ultimate. Sante might actually be a playable character in the game. Sante might be a playable character or DLC character. But here's why Sante will not be a playable character in Smash Brothers for a long, long time. Sante is a character that came out a long time ago. But does anyone even know of Sante's games outside of the gaming, outside of the hardcore gamers who play all the indie games? No. I don't think your average Zoe has ever heard of Sante or Shovel Knight. That's why they're not going to be playable characters. The most you're going to have is assist trophies. Of course, well, of course, um, like, of course, you know, um, Shovel Knight was snubbed in the Smash Ultimate. I don't even know how to spell Sante. Okay, Sante. The games are, the, first of all, the games are not popular, that popular. That's the first thing. They do make more games, more and more and more games. They do come out on Nintendo consoles. But if you look at sales, they, uh, they just do average sales. They don't really sell too well. Um, they don't. They, they never really sell at all. Their games never sold well at all. I know that's for sure. That's why Sante games are very expensive because nobody bought these games. Nobody bought these games. They're not. It's different than having. It's different than King K. Wall. King K. Wall was a game from a game that people actually liked. Game that actually sold. Well, same thing with Sam, Doc Samus, and Red Reader from characters that people people recognize these characters. Well, it's the same thing with Sam. Like Samus is more even Undertale characters. I'm more likely to be in the game than Sante. I know that's why it might sound super disappointing to you, but Sante games don't really do too well. Like, they'll sell like 20,000 copies its first week, but they'll just fall into obscurity pretty quickly. Of course, that's the retail sales, but even on like Steam and stuff, they don't really, they don't really have that much players. Sante games don't really sell that well. So, I don't think Sante is going to be in Smash Brothers. James B. Wong, where, uh, they got in Smash Brothers, King K. Wall got in Smash Brothers, PTU got in Smash Brothers, Young Wink got in Smash Brothers again, and sadly Jigglypuff is still in the game. Even though Jigglypuff should have never been added to the game anyway, since the Tower Zone should have been added right from the start, or Mewtwo, but no, they had to pick freaking Jigglypuff. They had to pick freaking Jigglypuff, they couldn't pick Mewtwo, or Dragon Knight, or Gengar. I know they, they like, Pikachu, yeah, Pikachu's always gonna be in Smash Brothers. And, to, and next, we're going to be talking about characters that will always be in Smash Bros. no matter what. Unless Microsoft buys, it, buys the brand or Sony does and puts it with all Sony franchises, Sony IPs. Oh, Sony already did that. It was called PlayStation All-Stars Battle Royale and it sucked. 